Uh, I think uh, the, the music was there before the story was there. And in fact, uh, Mika and I, Mika who co-wrote it with me and who helped me write it, write it um, um, we just wanted to do something, uh, uh, wanted to do a play in which we could sing together. And I wanted to say something about uh, religion and just to, to, to have the, that opposite mirror, saying atheist things and saying very um, things about religion that are not maybe so positive um, for re religious people. Um, and then combining that with the bluegrass music, the white gospels, uh, with a lot of hope for the, for the life after, of the off, for the afterlife and the pearly gates and and that that seemed for me that seemed dramatically interesting. And it's very honest music. It's mu music that goes straight to the heart, tells straight stories, not symbol symbolic things, and it's acoustic music which makes it even more honest because we could play it right here together now if we had instruments and the talent to do it yeah <laughs> uh, first the music and and then uh, i chose if i needed you uh, as a very important song and then uh, angel band which ended the the story am i and angel band says the story uh, um, you're going to die and uh, the, a band of angels will uh, white angels will help you and lead you through the pearly gates and uh, and for, for one reason or another, Mikan and I both felt that we needed the saddest story in a small level that we could imagine. And the saddest story that we could imagine was what I said, the, the pessimistic love story of, of people who are very much in love, and, but they can't cope. So in the, in the movie, while screenwriting, the tattoos became like fairly important and something like fun to work with, yeah. to, to develop and to, to have to become like a leitmotif. Um, uh, so I made her a tattoo artist and then mm -hmm. more and more it became important. I just find it's found its way to, to the story mm -hmm. and uh, even the last image is like a tattoo mm -hmm. uh, now. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, uh, and then of course when we started filming or started preparing we had to like <laughs> find those tattoos so that became a, a big job to find somebody who, who could could also design them and then um, we had to find a way to, to like fit it on our body and, um, and uh, yeah. That's the big stroke of genius. Uh, that's one of the biggest difference between the play and, and, and the movie is that while it's in the play it's it's like a short monologue about I have tattoos point but he made her a tattoo artist he made her body as a, a diary of her life and and all through it's a red Threat through the movie, and, and that's yeah, it's very visual. And I think what's most important for her character is that it's it's uh, it's also a way um, to not have to explain why she's so why symbols or symbolism are very is very important, or why she believes in in a god or in different gods or in afterlife. Or I think all those things. You associate it with that, and it's it becomes clear through the story too. But yeah. but it's 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 a lot. Uh, it's part of those people's lives. Yeah, it makes it very visual. Yeah. Uh.